comment about uh, you know potential causes of fibroids and sure. then whatever supplements might be sure. helpful. Sure, they're easy. They're super easy. They're obviously a, a big problem. First of all, nobody just has fibroids. Uh, I assume you mean uterine fibroids, right? Is that uterine what you're talking about? Yes. Uh, yep. Nobody just has uterine fibroids. In fact, this is kind of a this is a really interesting subject. I'm glad you brought this up. Okay, one of the things about diseases is they're usually what we call diseases are usually secondary to fundamental causes. But if you go to the doctor, they're going to try to treat the secondary symptoms. Fibroids are a secondary symptom that follows a primary cause. Without knowing the primary cause, you're not going to be able to treat the fibroids unless you're a doctor, in which you'll just cut them out or you'll burn them or you'll remove the whole organ. That's what the doctors will do because they're not going to the fundamental causes. The fundamental cause of a fibroid is the same as a fundamental cause of anything else. It's distress in the body. In the case of fibroids, you're dealing with some kind of problem utilizing fats and very possibly utilizing sugars as well. So I guarantee you, Davenport, that your daughter's got other health issues. She probably has PMS. She probably has some malabsorption, uh, some digestive problems that are a reflection of fat malabsorption as well. So what you want to do is you want to start to uh, accumulate some data. You need to collect the dots before you can connect the dots, and that means starting to get some information. The first piece of information you want is food information. That's always the first piece of information. Always, 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 always. I know I sound like a broken record, but that's just how the body works. And remember, all our bodies are the same. So it doesn't matter what your health challenge is. Uh, at the bottom of it, for the most part, is going to be a digestive crisis. So what you want to do is look for food problems, especially around fatty foods. Fibroids are responsive to estrogen. Estrogen is responsive to fats. So that means she's probably got some kind of malabsorption of fats going on. That means using, uh, first of all, you want to start uh, eating less fatty foods, less, uh, less purely fatty foods, and start focusing on good fats. Coconut oil would be one of her best friends, for example. Also, the short-chain fatty acids, butter, apple cider vinegar, etc. These are the things we've been talking about for the last couple of days. Using digestive enzymes that help her process fats. There's a digestive enzyme called lipase. She should be doing that with all her fatty foods. Get on the ultimate enzymes. That's a good source of lipase. Uh, also, finishing off your meals with apple cider vinegar and the digestive enzymes together. She might want to consider getting some extra bile salts, B-I-L-E, bile salts. Buy those in the health food store. And then using lecithin after her meals can be very helpful helpful too. Lecithin is a component of bile and lecithin is involved in fat absorption. She's probably going to be deficient in her fatty vitamins and vitamin A especially. Fatty vitamin is a fatty vitamin. It also helps balance out excess estrogen. Usually there's some excess estrogen that's involved when you have fibroids or the wrong kinds of estrogen and uh, uh, anything she could do to help balance out estrogen is going to be in her interest. Vitamin A, 20,000 international units a day with her fatty foods, with her fatty meals. She might want to try some progesterone cream that can also have a balancing effect on estrogen. Then there's the whole blood sugar component. Anytime there's excess growth in the body, whether it's cysts or whether it's skin tags or whether it's fibroids, there's usually an insulin, there's usually a, a component of blood sugar, uh, dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, or also uh, problems with insulin. So restricting your intake of sugary foods, sweet foods, any foods that spike your insulin, potatoes, rice, uh, breads, cereals, pastas, desserts, etc. Uh, if she doesn't want to go zero tolerance, at least uh, reduce her intake of those. More coconut oil, more protein makes it easier to restrict your intake of those sugary foods. And then using nutritional supplements that help balance sugar are also good, is also a good idea. Chromium, vanadium, that would be the sweeties. Magnesium is very important for sugar control. So is zinc. And zinc, by the way, is also helpful for helping balance out hormones. She should probably be using 50 milligrams of zinc a day. I'd be doing zinc picolinate. And then, of course, her essential fatty acids are not optional. Not optional. EFAs, uh, I'd be doing the ultimate EFAs. Probably, uh, I'd be doing three of them three times a day with all of her fatty meals. And I guarantee you, my friend, if she does even half of what I told you, she's going to notice dramatic results. If she does all of what we just talked about, uh, she's going to notice some very, very significant results. Much, much better results than she could ever get from a physician. Last but not least, probiotics. Good bacteria can be very helpful. Get her on the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Uh, three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. And fibroids are not a curse. You don't have to have them. As soon as she starts to control what she eats, especially around fats, especially around sugars, she's going to notice some significant differences. Does that help, Davenport? Well, thank, yeah, that's great. Thanks very much. This is a, a good list, a lot of uh, comprehensive thank you. information. I really appreciate it. God bless you, buddy. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, let's move on to Illinois and welcome Maria to the Bright Side. What's up, Maria? 
Uh, yeah, I'm having knee surgery, and I've been told that uh, in addition to some painkillers, I'm asked to take Lyrica, and I looked it up, and it just doesn't uh, sound right who told, to me. What was their thinking? Why would they tell you to take Lyrica? Well, they said that it would prevent this kind of buzzing sort of pain that occurs that people can't find a, a solution to later on. <laughs> And That's I what just your doctor told you? Want, you don't yeah, need Lyrica. That's I, absurd. That is absurd. Quote me on that. Lyrica is an anticonvulsant drug. I, who, That's what I know, and that, that's why I looked it up, and I was kind of shocked. And I, thought, doctor, I don't think you know, I was, I, I was trashing my brain, really. I, you know, it's hard for me not to get angry when I hear these things. I try not to get angry, but how can, they, how can human beings do this to other human beings? How can a doctor do this to somebody? He's going to give you an anticonvulsant drug, a drug that's used yeah, for seizures. I have seizures. no convulsions now. You know, I'm good. I just have I a bad day. Telling you. Well, at least you're, you're witnessing firsthand the idiocy of the medical model. Idiocy, with a capital I, I mean, of the medical model. The idiocy. They use it for so, epilepsy. And they're yeah, going to give you this drug. Oh, go ahead. My question is, you know, do I just not take it? Do I, I, I can't tell you what, you know, you're, I mean, you, you know, you got to do what you got to do, and I can't tell you whether what to take, not to take. I can only tell you it's an right. idiotic strategy. And you can quote me to the doctor. He, it's okay. an idiotic strategy. I'm not going to tell you, I don't want to talk about him personally. It's just an idiotic strategy. For, uh, for knee surgery, there's a lot you should be doing uh, that can speed up the healing after you, uh, after the surgical procedure begins. If you're loaded okay. up with nutrients for, this is very important for anybody dealing with surgery. If you're loaded up with nutrients before your surgery procedure, as soon as that cut is made, the healing process will begin. And that's why you want to okay. start your nutritional supplement program a month before your surgery, or at least a couple of weeks before your surgery. One of the most important supplements you want to be on is not a nutritional supplement, it's digestive enzymes. And digestive enzymes can have a really, really powerful effect on anti-inflammation, for anti-inflammation, and to speed okay. up healing after surgery. Anybody going into surgery wants to be loading up on digestive enzymes uh, two weeks to four weeks before the surgical procedures. Tons more you can do. Hang on. Don't go away, Maria. I'm Pharmacist right. Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're coming back at you with more good health information and your phone calls right after this break. Don't go away. Hi, this is Laura Sharris of Lady Talk Live. With the current threat of epidemics and pandemics threatening us and medical resources dwindling, it's time we protect ourselves. That's why I use Longevity's Immune Booster Beta 500. Beta 500 is the most powerful immune system booster you can buy. This proprietary blend provides the most studied and proven immune system booster available. Order now. Call 855-333-5239. That's 855-333-5239. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. It's a terrifying thought. You're trapped somewhere without a radio and no access to GCN shows. A doctor's office. The DMV. Your mother-in-laws. Come on, stay for dinner. That's what makes the newly redesigned GCN Live app a true lifesaver. Listen to your favorite GCN hosts and programming on your smartphone, wherever you are. Download yours free on iTunes or Google Play. The new GCN Live app. Don't leave home without it. 
By now, you've heard about Bitcoins. But did you know that over 65,000 businesses accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Because at BidBit.co, you can receive Bitcoin by selling your personal items or business products. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction your products quickly, easily, and securely at BidBit.co. That's B-I-D-B-I-T.co. BidBit.co. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows, pause and rewind live TV, even skip the commercials. Watch local channels too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1 855 905 MyTV. 1 855 905 MyTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1 855 905 MyTV. 1 855 905 MyTV. The nation's largest independently owned and operated talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. Okay, we're back on the bright side talking to Maria in Illinois. He's about to have some knee surgery. What would you do to your knee, Mar- uh, Maria? What happened? It's just degenerative, you know. Okay. All right. Well, that's a, that's a clue right there to, to how you can help address, mm-hmm. the, address this issue. Uh, first of all, before, before we went to break, I was telling you about digestive enzymes, very powerfully anti-inflammatory. That's one of the neat benefits of digestive enzymes is they'll help with inflammation in addition to obviously being important for food. Take your digestive enzymes on an empty stomach if you want to exploit or leverage their anti-inflammatory properties. Take them with food if you want to take advantage of their digestive properties. So some, uh, the ultimate enzymes uh, will will be very helpful for you. If you have any kind of digestive problems, by the way, you want to make sure you address those because that will slow down the healing process. Any kind of pro-inflammatory foods that get into your system will slow down healing. And if you have malabsorption of protein, that's going to make it a little bit more difficult for you to heal. So make sure you're getting enough protein, liquid protein ideally. The slender effects or whey protein can be helpful for you. And use digestive enzymes with your protein to make sure you're getting all the benefits of the protein. You may want to throw in some extra amino acids also, arginine can be uh, important for the healing process, maybe 500 milligrams or so to 1,000 milligrams a day. You could take more if you like, but 500 to 1,000 milligrams of arginine. Glutamine can be very helpful for healing. Again, 500 milligrams to 1,000 milligrams a day of glutamine, and then in addition to your whey protein or egg protein, any kind of animal protein if you're not a vegetarian can help speed up healing. Essential fatty acids are also going to be important for you. Get on the ultimate EFAs, three uh, capsules, at least three capsules once a day but if you could do three three times a day that's even better get on the healthy start pack and that'll get you your EFAs it'll also get you your beyond tangy tangerine make sure you're sipping on the beyond tangy tangerine all day long it'd probably be in your interest to stay away from sugar or anything that messes up uh, your blood sugar or causes problems with insulin uh, if you have a degenerative problem chances are pretty good you're already dealing with blood sugar problems blood sugar issues so making sure you're controlling that you can use the sweeties that will help you and also magnesium and copper are two very important minerals for speeding the healing process up and so is zinc. In fact, I would be on 50 milligrams of zinc as soon as possible. That's one of the most important healing minerals uh, of all. Uh, 50 milligrams a day of zinc and I like zinc picolinate. I told you about vitamin A. Or no, I didn't tell you about vitamin A. Vitamin A is very important uh, and also vitamin E super, super duper important for healing. Doctors don't like people to take vitamin E before uh, before surgeries because vitamin E will thin the blood a little bit but that just means you're going to get more oxygen into your tissues, and that's actually a good thing. So in my opinion, you do want vitamin E, and also you may want to try a little bit of vitamin K, or at least vitamin K containing foods, especially algaes and, and uh, butter. Those can be good sources of vitamin K. Butter also is a good source of, as we're, we've been talking about, the short-chain fatty acids, and that may also help you. Lots and lots of good stuff you can do to help speed the healing.
healing process. And good luck with everything, Maria. I hope that helps you out. Thank and, you. And be careful of prescription drugs because it's, it's just going to put an added burden on an already stressed out body. You know, when you have surgery, your body is freaked out. To, a, a, to the human body or to a body, when a surgical procedure is initiated, the body thinks you're being eaten by a tiger. And that's why your blood clots, by the way. You know, after surgery, the doctors will give you blood thinners. Why? Because after a surgical procedure, your blood will clot. Well, why does your blood clot? Because blood clotting is a major sign of protection. It's a way the body protects itself from hemorrhaging.